Good morning, everyone. It is currently 4.41. We are 11 minutes behind schedule. On our way to Canada, to Brent. We're gonna go on a six day, five night excursion, the four of us. And we are getting rolling early in the morning. Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. Here we go. We have arrived in Canada, in the province of Quebec. We will be driving all the way up to Montreal and then making a left. Then we're gonna go all the way over to uh, Ottawa, and then up north uh, over to uh, Brent, over to Algonquin Provincial Park. Um, for those who have or have not crossed into Canada recently from the United States, you have to fill out an online app called Arrive Can, and you upload your uh, vaccination card, you put in your passport or your information, and uh, put in the time and what location you're going to cross at three days before your trip. And so it actually went very smooth, very easy. Uh, the customs officer there for Canada was, was great, very friendly, very nice, and uh, just asked basic questions, and we followed all of, uh, all of his questions and answered them as we should. So we've got our Dunkin' Donuts still, our coffee, breakfast sandwich. Roni will give you a little pan here and show you the front of the, car, the truck here with a single canoe we got. So we've made it to Algonquin Outfitters and Brent to the Brent store. We got to see Jake Pigeon. Uh, great to see him and catch up and Bonnie. <clears throat> Haven't seen them since before the COVID. We got our canoe rental all set for us. It's down here, taped to the door because it's a uh, the store is closed, contactless. Oh, well, the time is 12:49. We have made it out here to Cedar Lake. It's a little rough. We might want to come back or wait a little while. For yeah, you. I don't think we can canoe this. This is extremely calm. It's just glassy. It's a calm yeah. before the storm. So. Yeah. Ooh, don't say those words. All right, we've made it to the Cedar Lake. We're just starting off, heading to our first campsite for the night. Gonna have a steak dinner tonight. There's Bill and Adam. Hey, did you bring the tent? Got my man Roni in the back. And I think we I forgot my tent. You forgot your tent. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. The first of six days, five nights. Cedar Lake getting started. Well, we've made it to our campsite on the first day here. We canoed up the, to the western side of Cedar Lake and got the island site just past Gilmore Island. This uh, old island site actually has got a reminisce of an old house. All that's left is the, the chimney. But it used to have, there used to be a floor right here. Which is now all gone. I can only guess that the house burnt down or they tore it down or whatever the case may be. But I actually stayed at this site in 1994 and this was here back then too. Roni's getting a his hammock tent set up, drying his clothes he wore for today, getting rid of the sweat and getting the saw all squared away. Guys, 
believe Aroni is getting some firewood somewhere. Let's see if we can find him. Look out. What up? Bula Vinaka. Bula Vinaka. Oh, Adam had one. It just got off. All right, throw it back out there. Adam's fishing reel needs a little bit of oil. All right, our chef is setting up steak on an open fire. All right, mine is done. I am ready. Mm. How's your steak, Adam? Good. There you go. Mm. It's your steak. Absolutely delicious. Medium rare, just the way I like. Is this uh, basically the whole reason why you come camping? So you can have a steak cooked on the fire? Yes. Agreed. Mm. Kevin, how's your steak? Mm. I don't know yet, but that rice is really good. Yeah, good job on the rice. Fully cooked and everything. Wow, that's some good stuff. Five star Yelp rating. So we set out, canoed, all the way up to this island site right here. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go up, up this way towards Mink Lake. And of course, as I always bring with me, a rough prediction of weather and patterns and stuff so we can kind of maybe take our best guess. And just before we hit the, uh, the, the road, the Brent Road to come down here, we did a quick look and it looks like on Tuesday there should be a little bit more rain than what they were predicting on here. So we'll be ready for it. Well, we've woken up, a little late breakfast, late start, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Kevin Aroni already out, I'm doing a quick dummy check. For those who are at home who do not know what a dummy check is, is you police your entire area to make sure you didn't leave anything or leave any trash, etc. It's stuff like that. Beautiful morning here on Cedar Lake. While well, we're getting started out here, we gotta paddle over through all that. To the other side to Little Cedar Lake. lake so we can press on across that lake and then uh, I think it's a, we'll have a portage there and then another lake another portage and then we're in the lake that we're gonna be camping at so beautiful morning water's nice and still Make sure you stay left when you get here and get jabbed by the uh Well we're 
on our first portage from Laura Lee Lake over to Laurel Lake. Got our crew here. And Adam's first time in Algonquin. My first time I was 14, his first time he was 13. He is far more experienced at it than I was back then. We made it. Hi. Howdy. Sorry, we're blocking up the area here it's for okay, you. Sir, it's okay. Somebody got a somebody has to launch. That's right. Now we're on Laurel Lake. There's the island site right in front of Adam. We're gonna be going off that way to the left. There's several campsites on this lake. So this is the first portage where Adam's going to carry the canoe and he picked a doozy. It's all uphill. Now it's only 130 meters, but it's at least up about 100 meters. Sir, how are you? Good. How's the water? Crystal clear, glass, absolutely wonderful. And which lake is this we're on again, Bill? Little Kaushan Lake. All right, we just did a 130 meter portage, about 90 meters pretty straight up, and the last 40 meters kind of down to the water. So that was a rough one, but. Adam's first time carrying a canoe for yes. an entire portage. Did a great job. We're gonna go up here, about two more campsites, and stop and have some lunch. With so we we'll just had peanut there. butter and jelly. We did our water, and if you are a camper and swimmer, this is the campsite for you. This is unbelievable. It's a big slab of granite that just slides into the water and then drops off into oblivion. So you could like take two steps and just dive right in. This is like what the third site on the left, third on site, little couch yeah. on lake when you're going west. Going west, as you come under the train trestle, there'll be a one campsite on the left, and then this is the third one down from there. So there'll be two more, and then this one. And absolutely gorgeous. Just before it opens up. Yeah. So we're about halfway today, and then, uh, so that's about eight miles. We got about another eight miles to go. Tent site right there. Tent site. And two more sites up there, you said? A couple sites up here. It's a hike up. And the thunder box. And the thunder box. I went 200 meters up, and I still didn't see it. So it is way up there somewhere in the trees. Howdy. All right, what do you say so far? It's been awesome. The uh, the weather gods have been good to us. This water is fantastic. The weather is fantastic, so no complaints. Sir, you? It's been a wonderful journey so far. Uh, hopefully, uh, we won't run into any um, issues. No issues. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Man, though that was a big issue right there. Got that on film. So we've made it out here to Kaushan Lake. Pretty nice and calm. The clouds have kind of come over us a little bit. There's a nice campsite here on the southern side, about halfway. There's a little bit of a storm cell over there. No, but that, like you said, portage number three of 26 to go total. And we just canoed about, oh, paddled about, what, six and a half, seven miles straight. And here we are about to hit the 440 meter portage up the hill. We'll see you on the other side. All right, we made it across the 440 meter portage. We are on our last leg heading to our campsite about 
four miles up the lake. And Bill and Adam are about to take off, and Aroni and I are about to put our canoe in and be on our way. So we just come around the portage into the turn onto Mink Lake here. You can see way in the distance there's some rain coming down. We see some paddlers. We're going to go just about as far as you can see, and on the right there's a couple of campsites. We're going to choose one up there. So we've made it to our campsite on Mink Lake. And then supposed to be potentially some rain we looked at, so we're going to put up our fly. All right, Chef, what is for dinner tonight? We are having teriyaki ramen noodles with smoked sausage. Mmm. Ah. Uh, it fresh dough. And for dessert, we're having cherry pie or apple pie heated on the grill. It's going to be good. Very nice. Uh, what kind of grill you got out here? So does it run off of propane? <laughs> it runs off of <laughs> firewood. It's gonna be good. All right, Sarah, what do you think of your teriyaki? I gotta say, it's, um, it's a very interesting um, mix, but um, it's excellent. Excellent, excellent. Are we eating better than the regular population? I would say so. Yeah. What do you think there, Slick? Mmm, tastes just like the ones I made at home, so <laughs> worked out good. Adam? It does have that little bit of spice is the moi poi that I put in there just to, because when I've had just the plain teriyaki, it was just, it was just kind of bland. So yeah, the moi poi. Yeah, just to give it a little zing. I would say it gives a little bit more of a zang. Hmm. Zing, zang, whatever you want to say. But after a long day's worth of paddling. Cool. Oh my God. It tastes good. It's worth it, man. The calories you get from this replace all the calories we burn today, right? So, thank you for the mix, uh, kind sir. Mm -hmm. uh, Yelp rating for this uh, dinner tonight? I would say five. Five point oh. Five point oh. Five point oh for I the. I gotta say five point oh. Yeah. For the KFK, nice job, KFK. Mm. Adam, what do you give a Yelp rating? Five. Five. All right. So that's for dessert. That's all you get. All right, everyone, for those who are following us in our trek, we stayed at this campsite yesterday. We made our way up all the way and stopped at that site right there. So we're on Mink Lake.